Okay, the first thing what you need to do is to add Corona to your light is uh, open KF farm. Once you have it open, just open your map again. Because now the Corona light should be, texture should be into your my levels. Because now we're going to open, first we're going to uh, add a light. Right mouse add light. Move it up a little. Right mouse on it, light properties. Uh, go to your here you have a corona as you can see light color lightning first we want to uh, get a texture the first thing what we want to do is add a skin to the light first we will go to choose our texture go to my levels because we open farm it should be in my levels now here you have two you can choose of we are choosing the first one th for this one uh, just add the skin uh, use this uh, corona we're gonna open the properties again and now we're going to go to lightning uh, B Corona to true now you already can see there is a Corona on the light that looks pretty good you can also change some of the some of the the size of the Corona we're gonna do that right now move it a little you go to Corona, here you can see the max Corona size and the minimum Corona size. And this is basically how you add the Corona to to your map. It's not that hard. And it already gives you a pretty nice result. Now we're going to uh, make our own trailer from scratch. Okay, the first thing what you need to do is make a, a, r a small ha hallway for the door to fit inside. So th the best thing is to do is make a, a, s a small size, something like um, uh, width 8 and 128 for the length. Once you have that, put it into place and just uh, then you should subtract your uh, your door hallway uh, and then you can also add at the same time but I forgot to do this in this tutorial so I I'm gonna do it two times so I speed it up find the texture you want for the door for the hallway I mean later you have to find the texture for the door yeah first I did a search for the door but I didn't really find any uh, useful doors in there so I'm going to use a normal one for this. Just subtract. Uh, I'm going to make a room right now. Uh, I'm using big size for this. It's a really big trader. Put it into place. Subtract as well. Now you need to add uh, another brush for the the door that we will cover to static mesh. We already did this in my other tutorial. So if you didn't watch that, I, I recommend you watch that first. Then we're gonna add, uh, move the blue one uh, out of the way, and then you're gonna need to uh, cover this to static mesh. Once you have this to static mesh, save it as my level, a uh, package, uh, whatever your map uh, wants it, your name, whatever. Okay, now you can delete the blue brush. And we're going to find it in the static mesh browser. My level, and it should be there. Once you have it there, you're going to go to the the cube with the arrows, uh, KF Trader Door. Once you have the KF Trader Door, put that into place where, you, where your door is supposed to be. Once you have it into place, uh, right mouse, go to Mover, and then key one, no, zero should be closed, key one should be open. So just do it like this. Always move it a little back so you won't see uh, the textures overlapping like that. It looks ugly when you have it on top of each other when you move it up. And then move zero back into place. Now we already have the. Now we still need to set the names for the trader. This is all correct already. You don't have to change any of that. You can still change the movement speed, but it doesn't really matter so we're going to add uh, a volume now that should be the same size as the room you have made put it into place 
Make sure you don't go over the door, but otherwise people will be able to trade when they uh, the door is closed. And then we're just gonna add a shop volume. I'm gonna look for the shop volume. It should be here and here. Ah, there it is. Move it out of the way. Now we're gonna set up some names for the for the shop volume. Right mouse on it. Uh, event. Uh, call this uh, trader or whatever you want and the tag for the door should be the same as the event name of the of the shop volume the url should be where the teleport is uh, supposed to go once the trade is closed S so just call it any name you want now we're gonna need to add the, the teleports just find it in your actor browser uh, should be in this location. Once you have it, uh, just uh, click it, right mouse on the floor. You should actually not place it inside the trader like I do now because I made a mistake in the video. <laughs> but I will correct it any time. I'm correcting it right now. Should have the name of the of the Earl should be the same name as the teleporter the tag okay once you have the tag place it outside the trader uh, you should always have six because the uh, uh, normal ha all map always has six and build all and now we are going to test the map oh yeah, we need to add the light in the trader so we can actually see something inside there now yeah, just save all and now we can test our map I was also made a small zombie uh, spawn point so I c the trade will actually open once I kill the zombies ok I'm gonna start it up now uh, open the map play I want to start it as beginner so it uh, I finish it quicker As you can see, the trader's closed now. Let's get it on. And once the zombies will spawn, I will speed it up a little so you don't have to watch the whole uh, killing me zombies. Okay, there they come. Pam. Bloodlust. Gonna finish this. Double bit. kill. Hat trick. Serial killer. Ultimate warrior. Legendary. Unsought. Smackdown. A couple are stuck in there, so I need to uh, enable cheats and ghost to get them. Walk again. Okay. It also points out to the trader, so that's good. And now you can shop. You sh also should add the trader uh, character in there. You can copy it from any core map so you don't really need to search for it. And this is basically how you do it.